Have you ever wondered if blind people can see? Or what can they see? I hope this video shed some light on the matter. <laughs> or helps you see it my way. Two puns for the price of one. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and we will talk about how I see or don't see. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for coming on my channel, Your Canadian Blind Girl. Stay tuned to see what I have for you today. All right, so blind people are like snowflakes. No two are exactly the same. So that being said, what I can see doesn't mean that another blind person can see, or what another blind person can see doesn't mean that's what I can see. So with me, I am completely blind in my left eye, so that means I can see nothing out of that eye. I cannot see light out of that eye. I cannot see colors out of that eye. Um, it, is, it is actually um, nothing. It is like kind of like a... I think the closest thing I could relate it to is like a really dark gray mist but it's like a mist so thick you can't see through it. This eye, I still have color, or I still have light perception, so that means knowing when a light is on or off. I am starting to lose it because it has to be a really bright light for me to realize that it's on, or uh, really close to me so I know that it's on. Um, if I'm in a room that slowly gets dark, I actually won't even notice, and I could sit in a room in the total dark. <laughs> Uh, I have also left my bedroom light on going to bed because I have forgotten I forget lights on because I can't always tell when they're on. So I am losing that light perception in the eye. I no longer have color perception. I used to be able to see all colors if you held them up close. Now I cannot. Um, a lot of the colors I can't I cannot see anymore. So when I paint my fingernails, it is fingernail roulette because I have no idea what color I'm picking next. So it's kind of like a fun game, and then I wait for someone to comment, and go, oh, that's a nice color, and then I'm usually like, if they don't say what color, then I'm like, okay, what color is it? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Now, for me, with clothing, I use uh, clothing tags and stuff like that. I might do another video on that if that's something of interest. So what can I see? Well, with me, particularly, I can only see up to about four, four inches away, or this four inches away. So, and with me, I actually do eye exercises every day because when you have one eye that cannot see, it eventually, because eyes are muscles, or around your eyes are all muscles, if you're not using it, you lose it, and I would love for my eyes to continue to stay in sync with each other, so I do exercises every day with my eyes to try and keep both eyes um, aligned to each other. Now, when I'm really tired, or if there's a lot going on, um, I know that I will start to look cross-eyed, and so that's that's always interesting. Um, so like there are things that I can see and I can't see. So blind blind people or visually impaired people, it's hard to tell what each person can see. And that's why it's so important to get to know them. And just so you know, a stranger that is blind or visually impaired, they do not owe you answers or explanations. They really do not. And you know, I'm always open to questions. Like with me, I would rather a stranger ask me a question than just assume. And so I always try and make sure I'm open to questions, but please remember, they are human beings just like you are human beings. I think it's an incredibly rude if you ask a question and they don't wanna discuss it with you and you push it, okay? Like I said, they do not owe you an explanation. If they give you an explanation, they are being incredibly kind because they are telling you about their personal intimate life, okay? Because they're giving you details of how their life is different than yours. So just keep that in mind when you're talking to people. You know, it's really good if you know somebody that's blind, take the time to know them. Say, can I ask you what you can see or what you cannot see? And you know what? When you phrase it like that and you're actually asking because you want to get to know them, most times they're happy to tell you. You know that? Um, because it's easy in this world that we live in to become invisible. So I am blind, but I'm aware of everyone else around me. Other people can see, and I'm invisible to them. <laughs> you know, because I make things awkward. <laughs> because, you know, you see somebody who's different, and you're like, I don't know, can I, scare? can I stare? Oh, I can't stare. Can I stare? Can I stare? And I used to be so offended when I still had, like, a little bit of vision left. And 
like I could kind of tell like there were people there and I still had to use my cane and you can tell like sometimes you have that sense that someone is staring at you and I used to get so mad about that but I had an amazing orientation and mobility instructor and I'm only going to say her first name for privacy but Nancy if you're watching this you I'm so glad you were my first O&M so so glad um, because she really trained me to think from a different perspective. So instead of thinking that people are staring at me because they think I'm a freak, no, people are staring at you because now they, they're they faced with questions that they never had to face before. Like, I wonder if I would be able to do that if I was blind, or I wonder how that girl does this, or I wonder how that girl does that. They're not going, oh, look at that freak. They're not doing that. They're actually thinking thoughts of, I wonder how I would be in a situation like that. And so, um, you know, that's, that's a really great way to look at all things, you know, like don't become defensive. Don't let defense become your first reaction because you turn into a miserable people. And I'm actually going to talk about a topic about that, about becoming defensive first instead of a teacher first. All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you have more questions, please be sure to put them in the comments below. If you're my blind, one of my blind or visually impaired followers, thank you so much for following my life. Um, I've made so many really cool friends who are in the same aspect as me of life with their vision. And you know what? All together, we make a majority on our own. We're a minority. So thank you so much for grouping up with me, following me, um, encouraging me. If you are one of my sighted followers, thank you so much for following me because you know what? That means you're interested in my life and that you can help me to spread more awareness and to stop the stigma against sight loss because you will know how to effectively help and encourage another person that's blind. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye.